Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. I hope you're all okay. And if you're new here, a special hello and welcome to you. Now, sometimes on the channel we do reviews and I do get approached by various different companies. And I only say yes if I think it's something that you guys would like or if it's something that I would definitely use myself. Now, Yuffie actually contacted me regarding this cordless vacuum. And this is something that I use at home. I use a cordless vacuum at home. I've got a really well-known make and we've had one for many, many years. We've been looking for another one. So I thought, what a perfect opportunity to actually try one. Now, um, I've seen these about before, but they're not as well known as the make that I've got at the moment. So I'm really, really interested and I really want to try it just to see what it's like. Now the battery power on the vacuum that I have at the moment isn't very good. And the plus with this one, you actually get an extra battery pack and you can get up to 40 minutes with one battery pack on this vacuum. So I'm really looking forward to trying it. I've not opened the box yet. I wanted to wait until I was filming so I could open it with you guys. Now you can get these on Amazon and I'm gonna put the links down below. Now this came the next day after it was ordered. So um, I think, that, you know, you can't go wrong, can you really, when you get things that quick, that quickly. So oh, we'll open the box, we'll see what we've got. And mainly we have wood floors downstairs. We have got carpet upstairs, but we've got carpet in the craft room. So I'm gonna give it a go, um, you know, on a few different surfaces and just see what it's like. And we'll have a look at the design and um, just see what we think really. So hopefully you'll enjoy and find this informative and helpful. So let's have a look. Right, so when it came from Amazon, it came in another box on the outside, like an all Amazon box. And I've been absolutely dying to open this. I thought, I can't really open it. I've got to wait for you guys. But the, now this is probably going to sound really silly, but the box feels good quality. And I know you're not buying the box, but when you buy products, you can tell if the product's going to be a good quality by often the packaging that it comes in. And the packaging feels really nice. I mean, on the back here, there's the website, youfeelife.com. Right, so when you open the box, I like how it's packaged. Again, I'm a big one with, with packaging and, and putting things. It feels like it's really secure. It's, you know, it's not going to wiggle about everywhere in the box. It's easy to sort of like get to. And on the box, I'll tell you what I like about it as well. There's pictures on the front that tells you what's inside. So you've got the main body of the vacuum there you've got your attachments you've got the long pole bit that you you know you click in so let's take a look so it's actually numbered so this one's the number one but can you see how it's all sort of molded in i'm a bit sad when it comes to things like that i find them quite impressive so this is the main body of the vacuum like that and it's not, it's not too heavy, actually. It doesn't feel too bad. Um, you've got your battery pack at the bottom. So that's your first battery pack. Just look in here. This says dustbin release. So we'll have to take a look at this so we can see. Ah, look. <clears throat> so that bit comes off and you can empty that in the bin. I mean, I haven't actually read the instructions yet. I just wanted to see what my kind of my first reaction was. This is how I would open it if I bought it and um you know having a look through so you empty that into the bin clips in and it feels it feels as good quality actually as the other one that i've got so that will clip back in there right so that's the main part there we've also got an extra battery now the battery life on my one is really bad and I've had numerous amounts of batteries. And I did notice that you've got 12 months warranty on the batteries as well. So, and it just says about if you need to contact them, you've got the, the support details there. There's phone numbers on there too. So that's the main part. Let's have a look in here. You can tell you get to a certain age. that You know, you get excited about vacuums. It happens to us all in the end. Right, so there's your charger. And there's also some screws in there because you can actually wall mount this if you want to pop it on your wall. Now this box, oh, I suppose we should do it in order. This is number two. I can't really jump ahead, can I? So this is this one. Again, it's thought about packaging. And let's open this up. 
I like the colour as well, it's white, silver and purple. So that's the long bit there. I'll be able to tell you all the official names for these shortly. And then this, oh, this looks like this is the roller for like um, softer floors. So maybe wood floors or something like that, you would be able to use that on. But that feels, these bits here, they feel like, th these are really soft, this purple bit, and that feels a little bit harder on the, the bits that are a different colour. So that's there. And then we have this box, number three. And this is all the attachments. Oh, we've also got your little booklet in here. So it says, welcome to hands-free cleaning. And the winner is... Da -da -da. So you've got all your information inside there. Owner's manual, warranty information, customer service information. And it's really good that you've got actual phone numbers. And I know that probably sounds daft, but... It's awful when you're trying to get hold of companies and you just can't get hold of them. So you've got websites, you've got emails, you've got um, telephone numbers in there. There's the warranty details. And here we've got the owner's manual as well. So it will tell you about all the different bits and the, the different like um, sections that you've got, like the battery packs, the metal tube, the release button. And it tells you about, oh, but I think it's pretty much, I think it's pretty simple. There's all sorts of different languages in there. That's why it seems so thick. Right, so let's pop that there. Ah, look, so these are all the attachments. There's absolutely loads. But you see, if you wanted to, and if you have the space, you can fix these to the wall. But if you don't want to have the, the wall mounted, you could just maybe put them somewhere else. You don't actually have to have them on display if you haven't, you know, got the room. But this is the extendable look. That extends out really well, so you can get into all difficult places. The bags feel nice too. So that would be where you pop it on the wall. And then you can charge it, you see. If you can get it by a plug socket, you'll be able to charge it up. And this is the actual main part. But that is a really good design. And look at how this swivels, this head. And I do know as well, it actually lights up which I think is just a little bit cool. And not only can you get sort of crumbs and, you know, if, say if you're going into like under the bed or you go in sections that you can't really see very well, because this section here lights up, it helps you just kind of like see where you're going. Plus the fact it looks really good. So, but I like that you've got these extra like roller bits here as well. And that's what it's like under the bottom. But I like that. I like that design. I've got so many bits all on the table down here. I'm, I'm, I'm too excited to clear it away. And this looks like it's a smaller head. I love the colour. So it all just clips in. You see with these little bits here? It just clips in and that swivels as well. There's still more. You do get a lot for your money, actually. And there's a smaller head there look and that goes up or it comes down and then that will just clip in this looks like it's some attachments so you can put the the bits on that's for the wall mounted bit and there this looks like some sort of crevice kind of tool so you can get into all the nooks and crannies that's the point. Right, I'm going to clear this box away and then we'll have a look at all the bits we've got because I've just jumbled it in a mess because I've just been really excited to open it. So let's make a bit of a space and we'll see in depth what we've got. Right, so these are all the bits and pieces that you get with it. So you've got the main part, the home back here, and then you've got this long part here, which is the metal hose. And what you do is this actually clicks just into the main body. You can see this little bit here. It just clicks in like that and then you would put on the end whichever attachment or bit that you would want so then you just clip this part in here you've got that bit that you just need to push in and it just literally clips in the bottom there it's so big i can't even get it in the the camera for you but you can see how long it is and then obviously just to work it you just press this button here like that your lights light up on the vacuum at the top 
and at the bottom here you see the lights that come on so we're going to give this a go on the floor now obviously i said to you we've got wooden floors so for those i think you would use maybe the roller the roller brush but i'm going to give that one a go as well and then we'll put some of the different attachments on right so this is a normal wood floor and what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to i can hear it picking stuff up but i'm going to crumble some biscuit crumbs on the floor so you can see but my first thoughts when I'm using it now when I use my vacuum that I have now the bottom part seems quite fixed and when you're using this it spins around and it kind of moves really easily you know if you've got a buggy and you've got swivel wheels on it and it kind of goes in the way you want it to go that's what it feels like on the bottom so I'm just going to crumble some crumbs and we'll give it a go right so let's give this a go so the lights on say we're working Let's have a look. Yep, yeah, no problem whatsoever. Picking all those up, so I'll just scoot about. Get these. And you can see that it's collected all the crumbs inside the actual body of the, the vacuum there. And it's obviously it's bagless, so you just empty it straight into the bin. You just click it and empty that into the bin. So what I'm going to do now is just change the, the attachment on the bottom and give that a go on the floor. Right, so there's a little bit here that you push in and then it clips up and then you just take that section out and then pop that in. And just clip that back down and then you've changed your attachment. That's the first time I've done that so that wasn't actually that difficult. Right, we've got some more crumbs on the floor now, so let's give this one a go. There's some big bits there as well, and it's actually just picked them up no problem at all. There we go. So, so far, it's doing really, really well. And this is the soft kind of thing, so if you want to be kind of delicate with your floor and you want to be really careful, then obviously you can put this on. Now it's got different settings on it as well. There's the mid suction, which I think is the one that it generally goes on when you first switch it on. And then there's high, which is maximum. And then there's the low suction. Now the, the highest setting, the battery lasts eight minutes. And that's when you've got a real powerful setting. The next one, the, me the medium kind of setting, lasts 25 minutes. So if you're doing sort of your house, it's you know you need a little bit more power that's probably the general one that you'd use and then on the low setting it lasts 40 minutes so there's a real big difference with that and don't forget you actually get two of the batteries so all of that time can be doubled so if you've got a really really grubby you need to a really really deep clean you can you can get 16 minutes out of that now i know it doesn't sound a lot but that's when you're really using a lot of power you know and you really need it to to pull out pull out the dirt so of an average, if you're on medium, you've got 50 minutes there with two packs. And my vacuum doesn't go anywhere near that. It, it does cut out quite a lot, the one that I've got at the moment, and it is actually quite annoying. So this one has got a better battery life than the one that I've got at the moment. So let's put a few different attachments on and see what, what they do. Right, so you can also take off the big hose bit here and you can clip these little tools straight onto the main body so these ones just clip straight on so if you want to do stairs or you know some smaller places where you don't need a big massive vacuum then they're actually you know they're perfect for that so it just clips in like that and you can just use it in exactly the same way that you can see the biscuit crumbs spinning around in there and that just works just in the same way and then all you do is you press the button there and you just pull it off and then this one goes on in exactly the same way and that just clips on and you can just use that attachment as well if you want to and this you can use these tools as well with the actual hose and they just clip in exactly the same way so if you wanted it to be like longer then you could just clip those in there we've also got so we're just literally me and Kyle are just literally looking at it at the same time as we're showing you guys so you can put this extendable hose on as well so that just clips in there and if you've got to get up higher you can 
sort of use that to get higher up. And then also, when you've got this attachment, you can put these bits on the end of it as well. So you can actually interchange and you can click loads of different extra bits on the end. So it's really cool. So what I'm going to do now is try on some carpet for you. There we go, so we've both given it a go, both Carl and I have given it a go, and we've found that it's picked up more bits off the stairs that the other vacuum didn't actually get. So you can put it on the higher setting just to give it a real good go on the carpet. As I say, we don't have much carpet in our house, so it's difficult to show you on that, but we found the carpet we did use, it was really good on it. So if you want to buy one or you want to check them out or check out the website, because they do lots of other things as well, I'm gonna put all of the details in the description so you can pop on and have a look. And that's it. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Again, we love doing bits like this, especially when it's cleaning. Carl will be zipping around with that vacuum. And uh, that's it. So thank you to you for sending it to us. And I hope you're all okay. And I'll see you again soon. You take care. Bye for now.